1989 Ford Ranger rain gutter. The truck came with a Reft 5.0 from an 89 Ford Mustang and a T5 five speed. So it's all smog legal with a 5.0 V8. We have the Quixotic front end up on the front, the equal length I-beams. It's about 92.6 bulge to bulge, cycling about 20 inches of travel, strapped a full custom front end with center mounted radius arms. We have the crossover steering with the dual swing sets that keeps everything articulated properly and it is the strongest way that you can steer I-beams. The front has 3.5 16-inch 5.2 bypasses. I've overshot a bunch of jumps already and literally it feels like the softest, smoothest landing you could hope for. Running 17-inch method wheels and 37-inch BFG projects. On the rear, we have Kevin's four-link setup with the 48-inch trailing arms, custom one-piece upper and lower pivot brackets, a 14-inch coilover from King, and the 16-inch 3.5 6.2 bypass. So we ended up doing the custom carrier bearing mount and that helps with lowering the carrier bearing down so it stays in line with the trailing arms. He fucking surprised me with the drive shaft also. I showed up one day and it was all mint splattered. I'm like, yo, he's like, yo. I was like, yo. The trailing arms are his 48 inch links. Uh, those things are pretty badass. We have the sway bar from 74 Weld. It's really nice, it's kept me in a, in line a lot. You can throw this thing sideways at whatever speed you want and it stays extremely stable. On this Mittler Bros 4 inch housing, we have Camberg 40 spline axles. The gear ratio from Axle Pros is 543s. We have a spool in there and I'm really happy with how it locks up. I don't have any play or weirdness and it's got the load pin Yukon case. That makes sure that there's no backlash on the gears. It's all on that load pin. So another cool thing that Kevin ended up surprising me with was color fitting brake lines on the stainless brake lines all the way around the truck. It has the mint fittings with the purple, so it's just kind of uh, incorporating both colors from both of our builds. Two batteries in the rear from full throttle battery. Those things uh, keep the lights going real bright and keep the truck starting up every single time. Loving it. We have the 1996 uh, rear end, rear fenders with the glass and the spares right here from Gladiator with the hooker 12 scoops on them. Now going into the interior a little bit, we got the McNeil carbon fiber dash. I'm really loving this thing, it's so nice. I can't wait to put all the features in that I want. We have the Shreddy NRG race wheel and we have the Shreddy PRP seat belts. The PRP seats also, the Comp Elites. Ended up putting the Switch Pros in with uh, rewiring the entire car as well, so it ended up coming out real good. So we ended up doing a two inch cage all the way through, Chrome Molly 120 wall, to go the little extra to be safe. Um, seemed pretty smart. I just wanted to make sure that if there was anything that happened, uh, I was protected. So last time, as you saw, we were driving around and the power steering pump completely seized up. It stalled the motor, it seized up so hard, and it started smoking a bunch in the cab. It started leaking everywhere. My filmer was like, yo, your shit's leaking. As I'm, it's smoking, I'm driving, it's stalling. I'm like, this is, what the heck? So we ended up doing the TT uh, How power steering pump. We made custom brackets. We have HRP custom lines with color fitting fittings. The How power steering uh, reservoir with the filter on the bottom. And I think it's like three times the power or three times the PSI, because now I'm just driving one-handed, super easy. It's throwing these tires around like it's no problem. I'm really blown away and kind of butthurt that I didn't splurge and do this on any of my other trucks before. It wasn't even that expensive. So uh, if you haven't put how power steering on your truck, don't play yourself, pay yourself. Like this is the best thing that I ever did to my truck and it makes handling the truck a thousand times easier. Like I'm putting this on every single vehicle I own now.